If you recently had a team member quit and walk out of the door, listen to this. I'm Dr. Anissa Holmes, helping you grow your dental practice faster. So recently we had a live coaching call and training within the dental assistant track of our platinum coaching program. And after the call, we had a few team members to reach out and say that they felt a little bit overwhelmed. They felt really exhausted. They love the doctor. They want to help the practice grow, but honestly, they're thinking about leaving the practice and they wanted to get our advice. Well, first of all, we thank them for being open and honest, but we had a conversation with them that hopefully will help serve you as well. Number one, what we shared with these particular team members is that there's a few reasons why this is happening. Obviously, there's a lot of lack of hiring, which was really the issue there, a lot of things being put on their plate. But the question is, well, what happens when team members are not there? Why are you getting this extra work? And I will tell you as a practice owner, number one, my number one goal is to be able to take care of my team, to be able to do more for them, right? And so if things are slipping through the cracks, if there's treatment plans are not being followed up on. If we're not doing those recare calls, if we're not doing all of the things, then all of a sudden we're not able to get the income so that we have the extra to be able to take care of our team members. And so oftentimes as we're listening to stories or a point, there's always two sides. And so that was one thing that we really wanted them to understand that the doctor's intention is absolutely not to overwhelm them, but ultimately at the end of the day, those things still have to be done, right? The other thing that we really want to encourage you as the owner of a dental practice is to have a culture where your team members feel that they can come to you and share their frustrations, share their overwhelm, and as a leader, always be looking out for opportunities to be able to help your team members to be able to be open and honest. Recently, as many of my companies started to grow, Sarah, who is my COO, she's now taking on a lot of new roles. We have Dentalflix, which is an online education platform that I have developed as a new company. I also have my digital floss agency, all of the different things that we're putting in place. We're helping others build out their masterminds on our online education platform. Sarah's also coaching. She's also running our event. So now that we are adding more to her plate as the business is growing, I had to really step back and have, as a leader, a forward conversation with her and say, where are you right now? Are you able to take on these things? What do we have to take off of your plate? What's most important? Again, how are you feeling? Because some some people can take on a lot of tasks and it's not a big deal to them and others take on a small amount of tasks and it's a really big thing to them. And so as a leader of a company, I definitely encourage you when you have team members, especially if they're in leadership, you're giving them more things to be able to be that leader that really is proactive, stepping out, asking your team members, where are you right now? But also having your team members to understand that as the company's growing, as things are being added in, all of a sudden what happens is that there's more revenue. And if there's more revenue, then all of a sudden they have the ability as well as everybody in the company to be able to earn more. Staying where we are is not going to allow us to be able to get there. And so hopefully this is super helpful for you. Number one, if you are a member of a team and you're listening to this video, but also if you are the owner of a dental practice, really creating an opportunity for your team members to feel safe, to come and share with you their concerns, just like you have the ability as an owner to be able to be safe and share your concerns with them. For example, maybe they're showing up late for work, being able to have those open and honest conversations. I'm Dr. Anissa Holmes. Hopefully this was super helpful for you. I would love to hear in the comments below your biggest takeaways and I'll see you next time.